Hi, this is Kurt Barone, and welcome to another edition of File Law Roundup. The next one's just disturbing. Um, it's a lawsuit as well, but so specific, right? Mm. So specific and so non-ending that I'm actually going to do what I don't normally do and read about this. And surprising to all of our viewers, guess what state we're in? <laughs> we're back in California. Um, I'm not sure where this is, uh, where the Rough and Ready Fire Protection District is, but um, we have a sexual harassment, sexual discrimination suit. This is a uh, California firefighter. She was dismissed from two different fire departments. Um, she filed suit against one of the fire departments and three of its officers. Um, she sues the Rough and Ready Fire District. Um, and she was also a uh, paid volunteer. I guess you mean paid on call, but if I had to guess, but paid volunteer. I, with that's the- why I quoted it because she yeah. said, and we know that's, that's you know, there's no such thing as a paid volunteer. You're, right. you're either paid or you're volunteer. There is no. Yeah. Which which question, you know, leads you to question the attorney, but I, you know, what do they know about the fire service? But on the other hand, you don't have to know that much in this case. Um, she was there for 17 years as a, let's say, pay, we're going to assume paid on call, but who knows. Um, and she had been nominated, according to the complaint, she had been nominated for promotion to captain at the Foothills Fire Department. And mm-hmm. then her troubles began and spilled over. Um, so here's what happened. She works as rough and re- for the Rough and Ready Fire Protection District in a- October of 18. That goes on only until for um, yeah, until months. June of 19. Yeah, something not, like that. Not all that long. Yeah. But but to the viewers, listen to what happens. This is insane. So a defendant, uh, Hicks, and Hicks is a lieutenant, um, started engaging in this constant unwanted sexual conduct as soon as White was hired um, over at Rough and Ready. And uh, I hate that name for this, but I presume it's like a cowboy type thing. Um, in any event, um, allegedly, uh, the lieutenant would, con- and by the way, lieutenant, so we're talking about uh, a managerial level. So when this happens, you lose. When your managers are harassing your employers, um, if it's true, right, it doesn't matter what the employer knew. You pretty much lose when your managers are doing it. In any event, um, the lieutenant would make uh, lewd and sexual comments to her. For example, he would ask her to have sex, would often how brag about how good he was at certain acts. He would be very, allegedly, very uh, graphic and vulgar about it. Um Allegedly, the lieutenant keeps saying, show me your breasts um, and said that your job here would be much better if you would just show everyone. Um, Apparently, he would make gestures of sexual acts to her. Um, He would make these remarks in front of other people. Now it really gets bad. Um, He she always rejected his sexual advances. She asked him to stop, uh, which, again, you don't have to do when you have a managerial level person doing it. But nonetheless, Um, He kept doing it. Even after being told to stop, he keeps doing it and it got worse. Um, She made uh, more verbal and written, uh, she makes verbal and written complaints um, to the defendant um, and accusing him of this. And allegedly they do nothing to stop this, nothing in in reaction to these complaints, uh, which again is amazing if true. They don't always know, right? I mean, management sometimes say, you don't need to know what I did. You just need to know I took care of it. Um, But that's not what's alleged here. What's alleged, at least, is nothing happened. In any event, um, after numerous complaints, um, she gets laid off. So now we enter retaliation phase, right? Um, And she's, you know, uh, yelled at at this point. She's told to get the F out of the station. Um, She's really being retaliated against, allegedly, um, and ultimately, um, I mean, it, it keeps going on, right? So, um, so Hicks, the lieutenant, alleges that the uh, plaintiff had suicidal intentions, what was a danger to herself, right? He's trying to get her detained. Um, she, but you know, he all series of retaliations are going through this. Uh, all these false claims keep coming up. In any event, she's now not promoted. Right. And instead of being not promoted, just simply not promoted, she's told to step down from her position. I presume, I think, as lieutenant, uh, but she's told to step that's down in the from other her department. Position. So that's, yeah, in, I, I'm that's sorry. The, right. 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 Yeah, that's so, in the other department. So it spills over. They retaliate, it sounds allegedly, for something that happens in the first department. Um, I, I don't know whether you can see this happening or not. She claims it did. So 
last week, I think we had a uh, $250,000 settlement. And I think my comment was, look how little happened that results in a $250,000 settlement. This, if it's true, is going to rank in the millions. Mm -hmm. I mean, but for a settlement. But this is constant, so alleged to be constant, severe, pers pervasive, um, you know, claiming somebody, all this retaliation that they're suicidal. I mean, th this is really very serious stuff. And now you bring in a second insurance policy, i.e. a second department where they're allegedly retaliating, um, you know, saying you didn't get the promotion. That That's hard to prove why you did or didn't. But, you know, the he said, she said here on what happened. Um, and the fact that what I read, what was key is it happened in front of other people occasionally. So, you know, you, you'll see, it'll be a factual dispute. What did you report? Who knew what, what did he really do? What can you prove? And did you really file a written complaint? And once you did, which I presume she did, that's mm -hmm. a, you know, nobody would make that up, I presume. But then what happened after the written complaint? Did mm -hmm. they investigate? Did they find out anything? Did they interview all those other people who allegedly saw some of this happening? Um, it, was there a 911 call or a report of her, you know, alleged suicide? These mm -hmm. are things that are easily able to be verified. Um, so this, this could be a big, you know, this is one of those things that gets settled, uh, and people get fired. A lot of people get fired. This is not the only case that I've seen in the fire service where people have reported other people for having either psychological issues or being suicidal and not in an attempt to get them help, but at least as this is alleged, the, the idea here is to sort of further um the alienation of this person from the uh you know rank and file and that's what is being alleged here that there was no genuine concern uh concern about her safety or her psychological well-being it was more about you know trying to tarnish her reputation and which apparently it was successful she not only lost the the job with the rough and ready fire department but she also ended up losing her position with the Foothill Fire Department. So <clears throat> definitely um, a fact pattern that it concerns me. I've seen it before. And uh, I think when someone is genuinely concerned about someone being suicidal, that's one thing. Um, but when you start looking at a retaliation situation, and then you're using that on top of uh, already retaliating against somebody who's made complaints against you yeah. personally, uh, this, I, I, I agree, I, I, this has the potential for a pretty big uh, payout. Um, God help them if they want to go to trial on it. Oh, yeah, no. And, and you know, they could have added more. They could have added ADA with a parent disability. They, I, I mean, there's a lot of things they could add in here. Um, I don't think they need it, but uh, they got they got enough. But man, you could bring a lot of other laws in here. Um, but, the, the, you know, in the acts of harassment and bullying, we know, uh, you know, that those have long term effects on people. So now she's going to get her job back. Let's presume he's going to get fired. Let's if, presume. She, if she wants it back. But well, and that's the problem, you know, <laughs> and who, who would want to go back into that it wasn't just Hicks, allegedly, it was other, right, the other members of the department did nothing, the leadership did allegedly nothing. Um, so yeah, um, but this Ugly. is Ugly. ugly. And, you know, the real question, though, is what do you get as a volunteer um, on the volunteer yeah. side? Damages. That's what what are your damages? You know, certainly right. your reputation and psychological well-being, medical bills for psychiatric, psychological counseling, that type of thing. But, um, you know, in terms of lost wages. Right. There's there's yeah. just not that much there. Yeah. Um, doesn't mean there's not the, you know, the. Uh, let's call it the punishment money, mm -hmm. right? That courts yep. could give, not just punitives, because mm -hmm. you don't always get those against municipalities, but they always have ways to say, you know, we're going to hit you for this money. Anyway, yeah. those are some interesting, this was an interesting week. I, uh, you know, <laughs> this, this was definitely one for the records, I think, with some of these things that happened. I